In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a dice in Blender with a nice, shiny, plastic material. We often use such a dice in Ludo and other popular games. Let us start with a blank new file. We will convert this default cube into a dice, and for that, we have to modify its shape little bit. So go to the Modifiers tab and add one Subdivision Surface Modifier. Switch over to the Simple Mode. Change the levels to 3. And apply this modifier. Then add a bevel modifier. Change the bevel amount to 0.4, and change the number of segments to 20. Then apply this modifier as well. Now we will add a plastic material to this. So turn on the rendered view mode. We can also enable the HDRI lighting here. Now go to the materials tab. And for this default material, let us change this base color to a complete red. We can directly type the hue as 0 or 1, and increase this value to 1. Then, scroll down. And change this subsurface value to 1. Click on the subsurface color, and pick up this eyedropper tool. Select the base color, which is red. Change the specular value to 1. Change specular tint to 0.5. And reduce the roughness to 0.1. So we got the red material for the dice. But we need to cut some white colored holes on each surface. And for that, we need to also add a white material. So, scroll up. And in this material list, click on this plus icon, to add a new entry here. From this drop-down, select the red material which we just created. Click here to create a copy, because we want a white copy of this. This copy is named as Material 1. Now, scroll down, and change this base color, to a suitable shade of white. You can fine-tune these values from here, whatever you like. Then for the subsurface color, select the eyedropper, and select the same white color. So we now have got two materials, one is of red color, and the other is the white material in this material list. Now we are ready to make the cuts for the white color dots or the holes on this surface. So, go to the Add menu and add one UV sphere. Then go to the Properties tab. Change the scale factor to 0.2 for the X and the Y dimensions. And 0.15 for the Z dimension. Now we have to move it up a little bit to place it perfectly above the top surface. You can press 1 on your number pad to go to the front view. We need to maintain a small amount of overlap between the sphere and the cube. Let us enter 1.1 for the Z location. This much overlap is perfect for our design. Next, select the UV sphere and go to the Materials tab. From this drop-down, select the white material we created earlier. This step is very important for an accurate result. Also go to the Object menu and select the Shade Smooth option for the sphere. Now for the final step, select the cube and go to the Modifiers tab. Add one Boolean modifier. Please ensure that the Difference option is selected. In the target object, select the sphere. Then apply this modifier. Now if we hide the sphere, we can see a nice, white color impression, or cut, made on the red cube. Likewise, we need to prepare all the other sides of the dice. So let us rotate the cube by 90 degrees, around the x-axis. And here, we can bring back our UV sphere. We will make number 5, on this surface, so we need 4 more copies of the sphere, at the 4 corners. So, let us first move this sphere, to a new collection. We will see shortly, why we need another collection like this. Now here, press Shift D and Enter, to make a duplicate copy of the UV sphere. We need to move this copy, to one corner of the cube, like this. We can directly enter an exact value, say 0.5 for the X, and also 0.5 for the Y location. Again press Shift D and Enter, for one more copy, and move it to another corner. You can also use just one sphere repeatedly by changing its location every time, making one hole each time, on the cube. But it is little tedious, so we will rather use a smart technique. We are making a collection of five such spheres. Let us fine-tune the location of this last sphere, same as others. So, we will now make the cuts. We have total five spheres here, and they are within this second collection. Now select the cube object, and go to the Modifiers tab. Like before, add one, Boolean modifier here. 
please ensure that we are on the difference tab. In this operand type, instead of object, select the collection option. And in the collection, we have to select the collection too where we have the spheres. Then apply this modifier. It might take some time, wait for this to take effect. Now if we hide the collection too, we can see the five white color holes made nicely on our dice. Now, let us turn the dice again in another direction by changing this Y rotation value. So we have a new face here. We will create the number three on this side following the same process. Let us unhide the collection of the spheres, but we don't need all of them. So we will keep only three spheres here and move the rest two into the first collection. Cool. Now, if we hide these two spheres, we will be left with only three spheres under the second collection. So select our dice, then go to the modifiers tab, and just like before, add one boolean modifier. Under the difference option, change the operand type to collection. In the collection object, select the second collection, where we have kept only three spheres, so that we get three cuts on the cube for the number three. Then apply this modifier. We can now hide the collection too. So, we have number 3 on our dice. And we already created number 5 and number 1 earlier. So, we are done with the 3 odd numbers. And similarly, we have to create the other 3 sides for the even numbers, and we will finally get the complete dice like this. When you create this, please remember that you cannot place the numbers just at random. For example, opposite to this number 5, we must have number 2 only. The rule is simple, any two opposite sides should add up to 7. So, opposite to number 3, we have number 4. And in the same way, number 1 and number 6 should be on the two opposite sides. You can create a perfect dice following this technique. Please refer to the playlist called, Easy Models for the Beginners, where we have discussed about more such models in Blender. The link is given in the video description. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.